Hello, we're at the home of Serge Tankian, the lead singer of System of a Down. He's been recently working on his solo record, Elect the Dead. Let's go see what he's up to, shall we? Serge? Yeah. Hey, I think we've got an interview today. Yeah, please, come on in. Right this way, dude. Serge, thanks for having us into your home today. Excellent. We're here, obviously, to talk about your new record, Elect the Dead. What's the significance of the title? I really don't like really explaining what I think it means, because it's, it's more valid of what, what you think it means. I feel like art and music come from the universe. They don't come from the individual. They come from collective consciousness. And when we relate them, at best, we're skilled presenters. Cool. Well, thanks. Can you tell us why you decided to make this record and what, what inspired you to make this record? I, I write a lot of music. Um, and when I write, I don't decide what it's for. Some of that music I use in films, some is electronic music, some is classical music, some is experimental music, and some is more classical songwriting type of songs. These are songs that I really wanted to sing myself. You know, I really wanted to completely arrange myself and, and have my vocals on and stuff. You recorded this record in your own home studio, right? How was that experience? You know, having your own studio is the best thing for a musician and being able to go in when you're inspired and, and write, create, play different uh, layers of the music. It's, it's the best way to go, you know? Again. That was great, Serge, let's do it one more time, huh? All right. How long did it take you to make this record? Some of the songs were written over a couple of years as demos. Some of them were written last year. I recorded most of the material uh, last fall. That was really good. Tell him to do it again. That was really great, bro. That was phenomenal. We're we're almost there in that direction. Let's let's go just a little further. I understand that you played most of the instruments on this record. How was that? How did that feel? You know, as a songwriter, when you write a song, you know how the different parts should be. You know how the guitars should be, the drums, the bass, and to be able to do them yourself um, was just, you know, almost faster. I guess more in line with the vision of, of the song and what you have in mind as a songwriter. Uh, I didn't hear that. I wasn't paying attention. Could you play it again? I think we have it, but just to, just to be sure so I can cut in the best parts later, let's do it a couple more times. I was told that the label Surgical Strike is releasing Elect the Dead. Why did you decide to go with them? I had a number of choices and I was pondering, you know, which direction I should go in. And I mean, it is an indie label, so I wasn't sure exactly how they want to, you know, market this and all of that. So I had a conversation with uh, the label executive. He's an interesting artist. Um, he's done a lot of different things musically. He's uh, um, obviously well known as uh, the lead singer of System of a Down and, uh, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. It's a very strange industry these days, you know? See these things? These plastic things that we listen to music on and the downloads that we make. The cost of them are very little. But because of marketing efforts, because of promotion efforts, because of publicity, because of the oversaturation of the media in our world today, it is so hard to get an art artist out there. It's so hard to sell these things these days. And uh, if we don't succeed, we've literally bet the bank on this guy. I mean, I don't want to put pressure on him and tell him this, because that's not cool. Because he's a cool guy, and I want him to be the artist and do whatever he wants to do. But if we don't succeed on this, we're pretty fucked. I, f I just felt comfortable that they were going to take a creative initiative in, in everything that they do, whether it's marketing or promotion or, um, you know, uh, publicity. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the songs? Um, Empty Walls, which is your first single. Empty Walls is, is, is uh, the first song on the record, and it's also going to be our first single. 
and I think it's a fair balance of some of the sounds on the record and that's why I think it would make uh, for a good first uh, single. I don't know what to say, I'm so blessed. I'm the A&R guy for Surgical Strike. His manager gave me a call and he said, Serge has got this fucking record and you gotta come over and check it out. So this song called Empty Walls is the next single. It's gonna blow up. And there's a couple of things I really, I, I really think that we should cut like the first half of the song out. It's gonna be like a minute and a half. Radio was gonna go nuts for it. One sec, I got a call. Hello? Oh, hey baby, what's up? What about Honking Antelope? Um, the concept of Honking Antelope is an inverted world. Why don't you go and photograph everything that ever Where's the pizza? It was taking so long. Whoa! Oh, it's gone wild. On the muse Dude, I'm totally sorry. I'm an hour late. Oh. Cool, man. Let's say uh, you've got a hunter who hunts down an animal and you know, the animals spread out on the front of the truck, like on the hood of the truck, and he's driving to a bar to meet up his friends, and he's like all proud because he has this, you know, kill that he did. And now imagine a, uh, an antelope driving that truck and a human on the hood. How about Lie, Lie, Lie? That was a tough song because originally the vocals were more serious, and they were completely different um, lyrics. Where are the lyrics? The producer wasn't very happy with what was going on. I can't put my finger on it. I just, just not working. So we had to kind of get together and talk about it. The music's kind of crazy. The lyrics are kind of serious. We, it was, it was a little disturbing. He ended up ripping up the lyrics to the song in front of me and tell him to do new lyrics. Oh, hey, Serge. Um. The producer thinks that uh, the lyrics could be a little massaged. We just tracked and finished this song after three hours. You want to try writing a couple of new lyrics? Who, the, who, the, who hired this guy? I don't know. I didn't hire him, you hired him. Yeah, I wasn't involved in the conversations on the phone with management and stuff. I, I didn't hire this guy. He's, he's on his Blackberry and ordering pizza the whole time. He's not even listening to us. What the hell is, can he hear us? And that, was, that was difficult to to take as an artist. Would you ever work with that producer again? Uh, can we ask another question? Do you have any touring plans for the near future? You know, I'm putting together a band right now. We're gonna be doing a major, you know, major promotional tour at first and then do all the festivals and major tours next year. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Is there an overall message that you're trying to send with Elect the Dead? I, I guess if there was one thought that has been kind of haunting me and that I've been thinking about for the last couple of years, is the idea of what civilization means to me. The resources that we have as, a, as civilization on the planet are declining at an accelerated rate. And the population is growing at, a, at an accelerated rate. So we've got these two inverse graphs going, you know, in opposite directions. I just don't think that it's sustainable. Civilization itself is not sustainable. And uh, so I, th I think my message, if there was one message, is that civilization is over. We need to decide what we're going to do next as humanity, how we're going to live together, how we're going to be able to survive together. Great. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Cool, bro. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for being with us. And remember to vote for the dead. <laughs>